Hey everybody, welcome to Childbox Reviews. I'm Stan with my lovely wife Tanya here again and we're doing a reaction to episode 4 of Superman and Lois season 3. Um, it's been a while, but yeah, we um, finally found some time to actually do the reaction. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't like know what the fallout is after the slap. Yeah. Don't know where we're going to go with this right now. Um, but we're really looking forward to it and stuff. Um, cause, uh, I think Jonathan got his car back yep. and stuff. So yep. yeah, who knows what's going to happen, but let's get into it. Oh, good. Cool. Here we go. Fireman. Mm-hmm. Massive fire. Living here in Australia, it's something we've got to deal with. Yeah. Like every summer. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Jordan's ice breath and everything. <laughs> I don't know. Because it hasn't shown that he's invulnerable yet, is it? No, nothing yet. Lois, are you? Okay. And for the record, you don't get to use your super hearing to keep tabs on me just because I'm sick. Oof. It's that stubborn Lois. Mm -hmm. I just love the amount of research that she put into this. In real life? Yeah. Great, great. Go away, children. Do not bother your mother with anything. Idiot, dumbass. Classic Clark Kent. Is it confessions? She cute. You ready to talk about what happened last night? Nope. Yeah, you said some stuff, didn't you, girl? Yep. Oh, Sarah, damn. I don't want to talk to her. You don't hang up on your mother. She shouldn't have slapped me. Oh. She, she slapped you? That's why I was so upset last night. What, what happened? happened? She came home all pissy that you had asked her about Mr. Irons, and then... Oh, hell. She's just been so pushy lately, and then I called her out on it, and... <clears throat> Listen, I'm... Mm. Sure, never does again. Hey, I'm coming over. She doesn't need to get trapped into this. Hey, John. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. <laughs> I can't wait. I need to get back to the shop. Feel better. Groupy old mate. Mr. Bernandi. Is uh, Candace here? Oh, what? You don't want everyone hearing that you're a crap dad? Whoa! I don't like liars. Keep it up. You'll get more than my fist. Oh. You don't go hitting other people's kids. Especially the most powerful being on the planet's kid. Yeah. Oh, dear. She it's knows. <laughs> <laughs> she knows he's up to something. No mm -hmm. business keeping that from me. You're just trying not to upset. Such a nice shirt on him. What exactly yeah, did he's always got a really good outfit. Mm. That her family believes he was selling everything I can about the me of this earth. Oh yeah. Dear. I not like what he finds. No, I don't think he will. My son, you and I need to talk. Here, take a look. Second, he's getting a haircut. Which is why you're getting a cut. Oh. <laughs> you're not serious. That curly mop is just a big billboard telling the world who did that. That's because he didn't look like he was auditioning for Thin Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> the best disguise was to just blend in. Don't you disrespect me like that? Like, yeah. Four-star yeah. general in the U.S. Armed Forces. Exactly. Punk. Oof, imagine when General Lane finds out that. 
Yeah. Grandson got freaking hit. You're not even gonna say hello? Hi. Now can I go to my room? Get down here. Oh. Now. <sighs> to hurt me. She should have never thrown no mistakes in your face. Exactly. Yeah. You don't deserve that. But her mother shouldn't have freaking thrown hands at her kid's face. Sorry, I am. Her face. Like, yeah. Telling people to treat me differently is not okay. That's a point, but yeah. she's the kind of, I just want to overload myself with work and just bury myself and not look at the problem and stuff. You were going to tell us who did this to you right now. I mean, I... Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> the Kent kids are in. Did you have to ask me to the DOD? Go, I've got this. Mm -hmm. Now start with the truck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. Really like this costume. Yeah. Man, how him got his hands on your blood. And she, she did. So the 16, mm. so she's only got, what, three more years before she can be out? Technically, I think it's yeah. 18. 18, yeah. Don't come back. Yeah, that's a rough one. Mm. Uh-oh. He needs more weapons. I think he probably has a suit After on your automatic. Stolen, you decided to risk your lives and Natalie's. It would come and get him when he's in peril. We didn't want to bother you. And then, I mean, we did get the truck back. At what cost? Those guys could have really hurt you. And that Pergandy did this? Oh, dear. Uh oh. Mom, please. Stay in the car. I think I won't lay hands on a woman. Damn. Gosh. Men like you don't scare me. Maybe I need to... No, you don't get the <laughs> both of you. That's right. Man, this this dude is going to get... You stay away from my family. <sighs> In serious freaking... Because we, we already know it's coming. As soon as Clark finds out, mm -hmm. it's just World War Three stuff. We'll talk about this more. I'm fine. This is the chemo that makes you um yeah pretty Tired. weak. Yeah. yeah. We have this under control. Ourselves in a similar situation. Have you used it for anything else since then? Nothing. Oh, lies to God. Well, clearly all these bells and whistles aren't doing a damn thing. We need to make sure this never happens again. I agree. <laughs> Thank you for your time, General. <laughs> like a boss. You tell me. Oh, crap. Oof. If I was her, she should be like, I'm gonna go live with dad for a bit. So just take it easy. He's gonna go terminator on this freaking dude. We went to talk to Candace's dad. He's the one who hit you? And stole my truck. He threatened mom with a gun. Oh Clark, I handled it. <laughs> yeah, freaking Papa Clark Kent, mm -hmm. freaking husband father is on his way now, so it's like, oh, it's on. It's game on. I knew it would have. He'd have it. Got <laughs> it. Damn. Oof. Damn. Man on a mission. Speaking of man on a mission. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 
Well, that classic when Reeves goes into the diner in Superman 2. Oh. I'm trying to stand in my face. <laughs> oh, man. I'd really rather not do this in front of your daughter. <laughs> You think she hasn't seen this before? <laughs> I don't come for you. <laughs> okay. Now leave. Yeah. Hmm, right of society. Get out. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt everyone's <laughs> Classic Clark Kent fashion. Superman fashion. I'm really, really sorry you had to see that. Did my dad really hurt John? Can I see him? Yeah, of course. We have 30 seconds before it detonates. Oh, shoot. 30 seconds, though. Ha ha! Do it. But you won't. You don't know me. <laughs> and not just that sister of yours, just waiting for the order. You can't give it if you're dead. Yeah. That's what I mean. A lot of kids out there don't have that option yeah. of getting out. There is no goodwill, like, for everyone. Where is Candace's dad now? Sounds like his car just crossed into Shawnee County. That was fast. This really, it's it's good writing, but mm. it's the performers that have to deliver that really awesome. Um, yeah, they chose really well. For yeah. This, this cast. And whoever's doing all the camera shoots. Yeah. Love it. Two of you are going back to that barbershop. Oh. Your granddad's right. If you want to keep being a hero, you've got to be careful. Even if that means doing something you don't want to do. That really sucks. I like it. I'm sorry. Change him up. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Let my team put together something. <laughs> oh. Keep that hair of yours in check. This is awesome. These belong to my dad. Oh. Um. Before P-38 lightning over Berlin. Actually, I already have one. His hospital. If I sign up as a chemo patient there, I would be right in the middle of hospital. Ugh. Looking first hand at what he did to Henry Miller. And getting treatments from a place controlled by Mannheim. That he has spent millions promoting as the... Damn. He's freaking out. Yeah, I would. You think she's really just coming to Hobbs Bay for treatment? No. Uh, I do. Crap. Me. Dear. Crap. Hmm. Good episode. Kind of felt like a bit of a filler, though. Um, I wouldn't say filler. I they addressed everything. Mm, true. They really did a great job with um, smashing out all the stuff that went down with um, you know, the car getting stolen, <sighs> Lois, the fallout. Mm, with, true. Um, the whole chemo stuff. And then on top of that, like, you know, it was just building, building, building for, like, Clark to just, like, wait till Superman finds out. Wait mm -hmm. till freaking <laughs> Clark finds out. Because even, too, for Lois to, like, not so much figuratively going in guns blaze and she was just like, yeah, I'll freaking handle this. Mm. Like, cancer ain't going to stop me freaking, you know, addressing this kind of BS. But True. Yeah, it's like a nice sort of, oh, check it out. Because I honestly thought, wait a minute, there's this building towards um, uh, freaking Jonathan's girlfriend come to stay with them and stuff. Or will it like be flipped around and she goes to stay with um, John Henry Irons and, and stuff. like mm. it's, it's more or less, she's got to get out of there because the second she returned that watch... And was just like, yeah, he's he's no good. <laughs> and um, like, you know, they were selling the ex kryptonite yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. And it's sort of like, man, how do you not help this kid out 
who's being like you know manipulated and abused like definitely you know, freaking at that age but like yeah i do really love the way they've done this whole like season where mm. the limitations of cancer is not stopping lois but it is putting a few limitations on everyone else who is like... Kinda, well, she's right. also having to learn to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, like, they had to kind of, you know, force her into, like, mm. go and get chemo done, start and stuff. And she was just like, no, I just want to bury myself and work and just forget it and everything. The whole Lana thing, like, I think that should have just led to her, like... I think they should have had Sarah saying, like, look, I'm going to just stay with Dad for a bit. Maybe we'll get back on the same page, but it ain't going to be anytime soon. Yeah, I really liked it, um, how they played it out, because it's like, you know, her pulling her hands away and stuff. It's just like, yeah, yeah she ain't ready. That's that's how you do react when yeah. you're struck by an adult. I mean, we grew up in that age where it was just a common thing. Yeah, so. and it sucks so much for, like, there's so many kids out there that don't realize that you can ask for help and yeah. stuff but like yeah just uh, it's it's a really great kind of show that's got the writers that give a damn about like well we're not just going to push this character aside with the exception of john's um henry iron's daughter yeah. wasn't in this episode yeah, but yeah, you can only spin so many plates for so long before it's like, okay, we've got to put this one down. Like, because are we just going to shoehorn her in there? Because there will come a moment when John's like, so you took your suit and went and got this car back and didn't tell mm. us. Like, Yeah, it's you know, bound to be a conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got to come up. Like, And I think it's building too for him to be able to say, like, all right, look, things are getting dangerous for us now. Mm. So we're going to have to, like, make sure we've got a fallout plan for if anything happens and stuff. I love that bit, too, when he hits his watch <laughs> underneath the laptop. Mm. And I was like, yeah. I knew he'd, he wouldn't be, like, willing to go unless he had some kind of backup and stuff. Yeah. That was awesome. It was also, like, kind of cool seeing, like, you know, General lane and freaking jordan having their moment as well yeah it's like the mistakes of youth and the mistakes of adults assuming that you know oh well we know best and stuff it's like well no you don't mm. but um yeah i like this episode like yeah it was a good episode don't get me wrong i just felt like it was a bit of a filler for me but there's nothing wrong with it it was it was wrapped it up it was lovely it you didn't like shocking. the diner yeah the diner was great but i'm like ooh. <laughs> I mean, the rats of society ain't getting dealt with. <laughs> it's just, Scram. I uh, will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, when he does that push, I love that. Because yeah, it's paying nothing. homage to, like, not just Christopher Reeves' um, Superman 2, when he goes, um, when he gets his powers back, he gets beaten up by the dude first off. Mm. And then he comes back to the diner at the end of the movie. He's like, I haven't seen Trash eat trash before. <laughs> and then, um, like, yeah, he ends up pushing the guy across the bar smashes him into the um pinball machine everyone's mm -hmm. like looking at him like what the hell and he's like oh i've been working out <laughs> but like even too with uh man of steel when you see that dude push uh henry cavill's mm -hmm. clark kent it's like pushing a brick wall it's like not going <laughs> no, anywhere and stuff but yeah it was it was really kind of cool to see them pay homage to like you know He's got all the willpower in the world, but, like, when you start threatening him or someone he loves, he, he gets into this mode of, like, okay, <laughs> I've got to make things right now. Yeah. But, yeah, that was really, really cool. <laughs> but um, was there anything else? No, it's probably a bunch, but let us know what you thought in the comments below and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, because we're going to watch the next one now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.